see how many times my camera falls. So, I don't know why I was going to tell you that. What up? How's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing good. I know I have another YouTube channel where I do theater pieces like solo and poetry and prose, also panda tutorials, but I have been in college for a year. That makes acting and piano playing quite difficult. I've been itching at getting back into the YouTube world. I decided I should review movies. I have been obsessed with movies for a very, very long time. So I decided why not share some of my opinions with you lovely people. I wanted to start off this channel by doing um, one of my favorite movies of all time. This is going to be a positive review. It is over the movie The Brass Teapot. This is one of my all-time favorite indie movies. I've seen it several, several times. It is rate, it's rated R. It is considered a comedy fantasy thriller movie. I would not really call it a thriller. I would just call it um, dark comedy. Dark comedy, not comedy. Don't know how to speak. I would just consider it a dark comedy, which is one of my favorite genres of movies, which may be why I'm so inclined to appreciate it. It was released in April of 2013, and it runs right at about 100 minutes. Um, it was directed by Rama Mulsey. I think I'm saying his name right. Sorry if I'm not. Correct me if you want. The two main characters are Alice and John. Alice is played by Juno Temple, who is in one of my all-time favorite movies, Atonement, which if you have not seen Atonement, you need to go see that movie. It is not a feel-good movie, but whoa, great movie. And John is played by Michael Angerano. I think that's how you're saying his name right. Um, he was in The Forbidden Kingdom, Sky High, whoop whoop, Childhood, and um, The Art of Getting By. So that's Kind of a reference for you. This movie on IMDb got 6.4 out of 10 stars which above average pretty good. Uh, on Rotten Tomatoes it got a whopping 26% which I think is a little unjust for this movie but then again I am biased I do like this movie. All right now that we all got the boring stuff out of the way I'll give you a quick plot synopsis. Basically this newlywed couple John and Alice are having a really hard time um, Alice doesn't really have a job and John's job is really low paying. They can't find a way to make all their ends meet, their bills are stacking up, yada yada yada. They go on a road trip and Alice stops by this little antique store and finds a teapot. Hence the brass teapot. It's a magical brass teapot that whenever harm is done by or to a person around it, money magically appears inside the pot. Um, so, you know, if you were to pinch yourself, you know, you'd get like five bucks out of the pot. That's basically the plot of the movie. Um, it begins to escalate very, very quickly. It has a lot to do with greed and lust and want. And at the end, they kind of really have to decide whether it's something they need, something they want. Um, there's also another whole subplot about this family that's trying to get the teapot back. Um, but the main plot is between the husband and the wife and them trying to decide if wealth is worth um, all the physical and emotional pain that is being caused between the two of them. Like I've already said, I really, really enjoyed this movie. It's actually based off a comic book series that was made, I'm not sure when it was made, sorry, I'm not a professional. I think that it's a very original and very creative concept. Um, although the movie itself is not original since it did come from the comic books, I think the adaptation was great. Um, it's a super easy film to watch. Um, easy. I mean, you don't really have to sit there and be paying attention super hard the entire time. And being that it was an indie film, it had a very, very low budget. Uh, yeah, its budget was like $700,000, which is not that much money to be filming a full feature length film. But they managed to do it. I think the cinematography um, is not great, but it's not terrible either. The acting, I think, is wonderful. Main reason I really like this movie. I love indie films, but a lot of times the acting is just too painful to get through. And um, Juno and Michael really, really make this movie um, easy to watch and make it really relatable and make it really believable. A couple of critiques for it. Um, it doesn't really have much depth. As I said, that's pretty much the entire plot and it does kind of start to drag toward the end because you can only stretch a small plot like that over a hundred minutes for so long and you can only keep it interesting for so long. 
um, but I really do think they did a great job other than the fact that it dragged for a little bit and there are a few points in the film where you're just kind of like what like what was the point of that um, other than that I really 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 um, enjoyed this movie at the end you're just kind of like huh well wasn't that just a good little feel-good movie that taught me a nice moral lesson that love is better than greed or greed is better than love you have to watch the movie to find out I definitely suggest you to go out and watch this movie it's on DVD obviously but it's also on Netflix um, so super easy to watch everywhere I definitely suggest you go watch it it's not gonna be one of those movies that you may put in your top 10 but it definitely isn't gonna be a waste of your time um, so yeah all I got to say about that. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen this movie. Uh, let me know your opinions on it, whether you liked it or didn't like it, um, and any of your opinions on my opinions, and then I'll give you opinion on your opinion of my opinion, and then we can just have a great conversation because I love conversating with internet friends who doesn't. All right, guys, let me know if you want to see any other movies. Um, if you really like watching movie reviews, I'm going to try to be doing like two a week. I'm going to try to do multiple genres, but I am just letting, warning you now, most of them will be horror movies. That is my forte. So, but if you have any suggestions, comment down below. Do you like movie reviews? Support my channel. Give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.